So this is 6 Carnville in Blythewood. Um, this is the forest here. It's a formal living room, sitting room area they're using as an office. Formal dining room. It does have the crown molding in here. All right. Forest continue through the house. Now it does have carpet upstairs. So here's on the first floor. We have a full bath here. Shower tub combination. And you have a guest bedroom and office area here. It is carpet in here. Here's your living room or family room area. Gas fireplace. The ceiling is not popcorn, but it is textured. Um, eat in kitchen. That's the bar. Kitchen opens up to the rest of the house here. And this is probably your garage. Yes. Two car garage. Let's take a look at this backyard. I'll finish with the kitchen while I'm here. It's have the darker cabinets, but it does have the ones with the windows in them, so somewhat custom, different heights, staggering heights. That's your pantry there. All right. Let's take a look outside. This house does have a screened in porch. Fan out here, and this yard is not fenced, but it is. There's a slight hill, but pretty flat for the most part. And you're on the first house in a cul de sac, because so that your lot is you know smaller towards the front and it gets wider as you go back. Right. Let's take a look upstairs. Come back here through the dining room. All right. Let's head upstairs. All right, they have a baby gate. Here's the owner suite. It does have the high ceilings in here. Huge bed, so plenty of room. All right. So this has a sitting room area that they're using as homeschooling space. Okay. Pretty big space. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The foreign in here. Double vanity. Soaking tub, standing shower. Here's your water closet. Here's your walk in closet. Also, somebody's timeout space. <laughs> All right. It is super hot here today. And I'm wearing my mask because this house is occupied. So I am warm. Okay. So the owner suite is at the top of the stairs. And then the other bedrooms on the other side of the house. Here's your laundry room. Nice big space. Some shelves up there for organization. All right. Next bedroom. Good size. Full size bed in here. Double closet. Okay. All right. Here's your full bath on this level. Same floor and countertops as the other one. Shower bath combo. Next bedroom also has a full size bed. Similar layout as the other. You do have a little lookout area here, balcony. 
Last bedroom. Again, another full size bed, good size room. Closet space is the same double size closet. So you have one, two, three, three bedrooms. The owner suite upstairs, four. Downstairs is five, a guest room, slash office, as well as a full bath. And this is six, Carnville. So as soon as I pop these shoe covers off, I will take a look at the neighborhood and out front. This one's on a cold this side. It is brick as well. The house around a brick. So the neighbor has a wooden fence. Great space between the houses. There is a sewer drain there. I don't know if that will be affect your ability to put a pool. We have to definitely look at the the plot plans or have a pool person come out um, and that's something i want to recommend whatever house you go with during your due diligence period have a pool person come out because there's a drain there and then there's some type of access point so i don't know what you can do here okay take a look at the other side of the house Well, it's a super quiet neighborhood. Saturday, you know, it's nice and quiet. So the property line probably runs right about here, straight down. So it's a good amount of yard, but I don't know if you can dig there because I see a sewer drain and I see some type of access point there. 